Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW 3 Series Generation F30, F31. If you guys have one of those and if you uh, need to find guys, okay, where the fuses for the transfer case are located, if you have the X-Drive, which fuses you need to check, where you can buy cheap fuses, relays, parts, that way you do not waste your money. Uh, all that guys will be shared for your convenience today in this video. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse. You need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We'll share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So let's go ahead and explain where you can expect to find the transfer case fuses on a BMW 3 Series Generation F30, F31. We'll demonstrate on a 2013 model, guys. You, by the way, have four different fuse boxes. I think we'll be working just one of them today. And this is the fuse box under the hood. Open the hood and right here, in the uh, uh, next to the, the windshield trim there, remove that cover, you'll see a fuse box layout that will look just like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so here now guys let's explain even if you have a missing fuse you will count the spot in that row this is the row towards the windshield side and if we start right here we need to find fuse number uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Fuse number 24. Very important fuse right here. After that, you will need to find from 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 32, guys. Fuse number 32, that 5M fuse will need to be checked here as well. Next, uh, you will need to check fuse number, uh, fuse number 54. So this is 55, 54, uh, 56, 55, 54. That 7.5 amp fuse will need to be checked. And after that, you will have one more, which is known as fuse number 63. And we're talking about that 30 amp fuse. That's the main fuse, guys. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.